There's this famous old Wendy's commercial with three old ladies sitting around a hamburger at a restaurant and the bun is massive. And after staring at it for a while, there's one lady that just asks the question, where's the beef? Where's the beef? Sometimes when I get a Lego set, I build it, I take it apart and I sort it out. And at the end of sorting, I'm left asking myself a question. Where are the bricks? Now, Tiago Caterino on his channel a few weeks ago had a community post where he asked something similar. And thinking back on my own experience, and I've been thinking about this for a while, I remember there being tons of bricks in the sets that I got as a kid, such that I could build anything and everything that I wanted with just the pieces I had from Lego sets. There was no Bricklink back then, and there were no bricks and minifigs or other independent toy stores that sold bulk Lego. You just had your sets. And, and here I'm talking about bricks, right? Not the modified bricks and specialized pieces, not slopes, not tiles, and definitely not Technic bricks, just bricks. And it feels like today's sets aren't like that. But rather than just rely on my nostalgia and rant about my feelings that sets aren't as good today in terms of bricks as they used to be, I'm going to do some analysis in this video to determine if we are seeing a decline in the number of bricks. Now, at the end, I'm going to tell you about what I think might be one of the greatest LEGO sets of all time. A few weeks ago, Tiago Caterina made a community post where he talked about the Creator 3-in-1 Parrot, and he had some what could be perceived as harsh things to say about uh, the Creator line. Here, here are the relevant parts of his post. I've been seeing an uptick of extremely detailed models, making use of many specialized pieces in Creator 3-in-1, and oftentimes wondering, how are kids supposed to take this apart and use the pieces to build stuff on their own? Do you know how many basic Lego bricks this 253-piece Lego set has? Four. My older kids, ages five and seven, have played with Lego all of their lives, and they have a bunch of Lego system sets of their own. Can you guess the pieces they use 95% of the time whenever they want to build something? A large plate or base plate, and basic bricks. That's it. Basic bricks. The more, the merrier. And later, he reiterates, 95% of the times, they're using the pieces that made Lego, what Lego should be all about, those four basic bricks. Now, how am I going about measuring this and testing this hypothesis that we're seeing fewer bricks? Well, I decided to take sets from two different lines. First being the city line, because I believe that city has to have a combination of buildings and vehicles. And to make those things, especially the buildings, you need to have bricks. The second theme that I chose is naturally creator, because that's one thing that Tiago references in his post. Because I don't have time to analyze every set from these themes, I chose an early year and a recent one from each. For City, the random number generator chose 1983, back when it was known as Town, and 2013. For creator, the random number generator chose 2007 and 2019. Then I calculated the share of each set's pieces that were just regular bricks, the share that were bricks plus modified bricks, and the Technic piece share. Let's start by previewing the 1983 town theme. There were 10 sets to analyze from this year, including a Shell service station, holiday home, police station, burger stand, and a road repair set along with five vehicles. This analysis, though, won't include value packs or the minifig packs. What are the key statistics from this lineup? The police station was the largest set at 369 pieces, was built on a printed base plate, and came with the most number of minifigs, four. The Holiday Home, however, had the highest share of its pieces consist of regular bricks, with 103 bricks out of 243 pieces, its brick share was just over 42%. In the end, the average brick share from the 1983 town sets was just over 19%. Let's compare that to the 2013 city sets. There were 27 city sets released in 2013. 
not including poly bags. There were a number of vehicles in the lineup along with six buildings. The largest set was the town square with 877 pieces and nine minifigs. The average brick share of these sets was 8.76%, although the fire motorcycle had the highest brick share at just over 34%. So there was seemingly a pretty large drop-off in the percent of bricks in a set from 1983 to 2013. Now I said seemingly there because we did take a sample, so I ran a statistical test to determine if there really was a difference. And indeed, there was a statistically significant drop, about 10%. So in the end, it looks like we are seeing fewer bricks in the city line. But how should we handle modified bricks? After all, some of them are very useful for building, like the brick brick. However, the data showed that the share of modified bricks was nearly identical in those two years, and thus there was still a statistically significant 10% drop in the brick share or even the brick plus modified brick share. There was also another hypothesis that I wanted to check out. See, I've noticed that a lot of sets feature Technic pieces, which do add stability and can allow you to add more play features to them. I did some analysis of the data and sure enough, there was a statistically significant increase in the Technic piece share from just under half a percent in 1983 to almost 3.5% in 2013. The crazy thing is that the average set size in terms of total pieces more than doubled from 1983 to 2013, but the average number of total bricks still went down. Now, what about the creator line? I'm glad you asked. The 2007 creator line was pretty impressive. There were some miniature builds along with what are now the typical main building sets. Four of the 11 non-polybag, non-creator expert sets that year were designed by the legendary set designer, Jamie Berard, including the Fast Flyers. But the two sets that jump out to me the most in terms of their brick share are the Model Town House and house, both of which are over 30% regular bricks. Not only that, but the model townhouse comes with another 100 plus headlight bricks, meaning that over 40% of the set's pieces are either regular or modified bricks. Now that's really high. Is there anything similar in the 2019 creator sets? Not even close. There were 13 non-expert, non-poly bag creator sets in 2019, and the highest brick share was the Outback Cabin. About 21% of the set's pieces were regular bricks, and another 10% were modified bricks. Now, at first glance, this drop in brick share between 2007 and 2019 looks big, but again, because we're dealing with a sample, it turns out this difference is not statistically significant. Indeed, there was no meaningful difference in the brick share, the brick plus modified brick share, or even the Technic piece share in the creator line from 2007 versus that in 2019. One weird finding is that the 2019 creator set, the Helicopter Adventure, came with zero regular bricks. This was the only set in the analysis that didn't come with a regular brick. And the Sunset Track Racer had the lowest share of bricks plus modified bricks at just 2.7%. There may not have been a noticeable difference overall in brick share, but some of the 2019 sets definitely fared poorly in our analysis. What does this mean in the big picture? Well, first, if you want a cost-effective way to get bricks, buildings are the way to go. There were many bricks in the buildings that were in production in 1983 and 2013 buildings, albeit less in 2013. Animals and vehicles honestly aren't the way to go if you're looking to get just bricks. Second, creator isn't really the culprit in the case of the disappearing brick. Many of the sets in 2019 still came with a decent share of regular bricks, but the city line definitely is a problem here. In fact, there were many sets where over 90% of them were specialized bricks, slopes, tiles, Technic pieces, plates, and other things, and not just plain bricks. The third thing though I wanna mention is that to you, this may not be a problem, and that's fine. 
I love bricks. I love getting them, I love building with them, and perhaps that actually is one of my weaknesses as a builder. But you might look at these numbers and say, I'm perfectly fine with getting fewer bricks because the buildings are more interesting, I can do more with different pieces, and they don't look as blocky as they used to back in 1983. I mean, look at some of these sets from the 1980s. They're not all that attractive in today's design. And more types of pieces, more specialized pieces, do help make sets look more modern. So at the end of the day, there's definitely a balance that you want to have between regular bricks and specialized pieces. I tend to lean more toward the bricks, and that's why I'm going to tell you about this set right now that I think is one of the greatest LEGO sets of all time, and I'm glad that I picked one up over 15 years ago. That set is the Model Town Home. I referenced it earlier, and it has a ton of tan bricks. And I got this set back in the day because I wanted to increase my tan bricks collection, and this was perfect for that. Not only that, it comes with over 100 light gray headlight bricks, which is great for a castle builder, but I wanna also focus on one other type of piece that makes this set special. That is these two by two double concave slopes. Now, this piece first came out in LEGO in 1957. Since then, they've come out with 189 sets with this particular piece across all colors. But here's the thing, that sounds like a lot, but that works out to about three sets per year. And if you're talking about the two by two double concave slopes in black, there are less than 40 sets with this piece in it. Now, when I was growing up, that's how you built roofs. And when I started collecting castle pieces to make a bunch of sets from the golden era of castle, these were hard to find. So this set, the Model Town Home, came with 12 of them, which is more than any other regular system or creator or basic or whatever type of set that was on the market. So for my money, this set, one of the greatest ones that I could have ever purchased. How about you? Do you like specialized pieces? And should we analyze more sets from different themes or different years? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, before you go, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and always remember to keep building together. <music>